Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing the assumptions about me video. I am a little bit late to the party. Everyone seemed to do this a couple of months ago. But whilst I'm working on some of my other animal related videos, I thought I'd sit down and do this video. So I feel like you guys know a fair bit about my animals and their individual personalities and stuff. But for like you don't know too much about me, so instead of me sitting down and just telling you random facts, I thought it'd be fun to ask you guys if you had any assumptions about me and answer whether they are correct or not in a video. Whether or not I regret asking you guys to submit your assumptions is another matter entirely, but I'm going to go ahead now and read the assumptions you guys sent in. I asked on Instagram and also on my YouTube community tab thing what assumptions you guys had about me, so I'm going to go ahead and see if any of these are true or not. So I have my phone here and I have all of the assumptions from Instagram. The first one's nice and easy and not too targeted at me, so that's a good thing. And that is that I assume you'd own a dwarf hamster. And yes, I would own a dwarf hamster, although I don't think I have the space for it. I think it's kind of that thing where it's like I could have mice or I could have a hamster. And right now I'm really enjoying owning mice. But if I did get a dwarf hamster, I would really like a Chinese hamster. These were really common in the UK when I was a kid growing up. I never had one for myself, a couple of my friends had Chinese hamsters, but I don't really see them that often anymore, so I don't know where I'd find a Chinese hamster, but if I did own a dwarf, I would want it to be a Chinese one. The next two assumptions is, I feel like you're tall, and someone else said, I feel like you're five foot four. Now, I'm actually five foot six, I don't know if this is considered tall or not. To me, I thought I thought this was like average height for a girl, but maybe to some people I'm tall, but... I'm pretty average, I'm 5 foot 6, maybe that's taller than you were expecting or smaller than you were expecting. I know it's always weird to like watch people's videos and then in real life they're like really small or really tall, you can't like gauge, obviously because I'm like sat down right now you can't really gauge how tall I am, so yeah I wouldn't say I'm that tall. <laughs> the next one is, I assume you have a really good social life and lots of close friends. You know, honestly, I did have a good social life many, many moons ago. I did enjoy going out and doing things, but then I got really ill and just lost a bunch of friends for some reason. So I used to have a good social life and now I've completely moved away from anyone that I ever knew. So right now, no, I don't have a great social life. Online, I'd say, yeah, I have a lot of close friends online, but in terms of real life, no, not really. The next one is you were very shy when you were young, yes I was very shy. And then I got so many saying that I'm an introvert, or that I'm introverted, or that I'm really shy. And I guess if that many of you sent that in then it must be that obvious. <laughs> the next assumption says Starbucks, yes queen, rose gold. So I'm guessing what this assumption is implying is that I'm a bit of a basic, I was going to say basic <laughs> Basic white girl, and I'd like to think that I'm not a basic white girl, I don't like Starbucks, I used to like rose gold, not that much anymore, but I'd like to hope that I'm not that basic. <laughs> Someone else assumed that I am 29, I am not 29, I am 22, which I guess is slowly creeping up to 29, but I'm not 29 yet. And then another one is, I assume at first you didn't like rats. So I've never been against rats, I've never had like a really strong hatred for them. I think everyone that doesn't know rats is kind of raised to be fearful of them. I just didn't have much of an interest until I got older and researched them and realised what amazing pets they were. Another assumption is you have never been bit by a rat. And this is not true. I've technically been bitten twice. Once by my first rat scampi, we would play fight with each other and he got a bit carried away and bit me but it didn't draw blood. And then the second time I've been bit by Badger, he just came up to me and bit in the like crease of my elbow, which was really random, and like the tiniest bit of blood came out, but but apart from that I've never been seriously bitten by a rat because all my rats are really lovely, so I've been lucky enough to not be bitten by them, but I have been bitten by a lot of hamsters and gerbils. The next assumption is you are a dog person more than a cat person. True. The next assumption is you are from London. Nope, this is not true. I live above London if you're looking at like a map of the UK. I live above London a couple of hours away from London, so definitely not from London. The next assumption is you probably have a really detailed bullet journal. Now I would really like a bullet journal, but I think I'd spend too much time procrastinating, actually filling in the pages than doing anything productive. I do have a really detailed diary that's already like pre-made for you and I plan every single day in that diary, but I don't have a bullet journal because 
I feel like I would procrastinate doing the actual pages and then just not use it at all. Someone else assumed you were really into watching animal documentaries from a young age. Yes, I watched as many animal documentaries as I could find and then when we went to America I started watching Animal Planet and then when we came home my mum had to get Sky just so that I could watch Animal Planet and I've been watching it ever since. The next assumption is your favourite season is autumn and this is true. The next assumption is that I am scared of spiders. Now unfortunately this is a massive truth. As much as I would like to appreciate every animal on this earth, spiders just, I just can't. I'm trying to overcome it but it's not big spiders, it's the little like tiny ones that freak me out and I'm working on it but they still just really scare me. The next assumption is you think rats mice are better pets than hamsters. True. Now don't kill me for this one but I just think because rats and mice are a lot more intelligent, no offence to hamsters at all, I do really enjoy hamsters but I think because rats and mice have that higher level of intelligence it does make them a slightly better pet. Another assumption is I feel as if you're a very neat and tidy girl, like always have things in order. Now if you could see the state of it in here and the state of my bedroom right now, you would not call me neat and tidy, let's just say that. A few moments later. Okay, so moving on to the assumptions that you guys left me on my YouTube community tab, and some of these are a lot more juicy than the ones that were left on my Instagram. So the first assumption is rats are your favourite pet. Now out of all of the animals that I currently own, I would say rats are my favourite, but I am interested in owning a lot of other animals, so maybe that could change one day. Boys, you need to be on your best behaviour, otherwise you're going to get outstaged. <laughs> okay, this one's good. I assume you are trying to attract Emzotic's followers by changing to Emiology because both of these start with M. Both me and Emma have names that start with M. She's Emma, I'm Emily, so I don't think it can really be helped that we have names starting with the same two letters, but but I mean, if by changing my name has attracted any of Emzotic's followers, then that's a good thing, I guess. This next assumption is a little bit too accurate. They said that they assume that you have no idea what job you want or cannot get one with your degree, mostly because it's hard to find one. And then there's another bit. So yeah, it's not that I don't know what job I want, there's plenty of jobs out there that I would really like. They just don't really exist when you're like looking for jobs because I need employment right now and they either exist very very far away from me or just not at all so I can't sit around and wait for the perfect job to come for me which is why I'm kind of taking it into my own hands and I really I'm starting to learn what I do want to actually do as a job. I'm starting my own business, so I'm taking it into my own hands. Maybe I won't get the dream job that I would have hoped for when I started doing my degree, but I still think my degree will come in useful for what I'm planning on doing, so fingers crossed that it all goes smoothly, I guess. And the other assumption they have is that people around you complain about your rats and my smelling. Yes, definitely not as much now that I live with just my boyfriend, but when I did live in shared accommodation and when I did live at home, you would get the odd comment that was like, oh, I can smell the rats, or oh, the rats are smelling a bit strong. I don't necessarily think it was the bad smells because just after I'd clean them out, people would comment on it. And I think people can just smell the bedding itself. The bedding I use is quite a strong smell. And I think people just associate that straight away with the smell of rats in general. So yeah, I've had a few comments on it, but I don't really care because now I live by myself and if they don't like it, then they can leave. Someone else says, I assume you want more rats and you're crazy smart. Now I don't know so much about the last part, although somehow I did put myself to university, but I don't really consider myself that smart. And do I want more rats? I actually don't. Unless any of these unfortunately do pass away, I'm not planning on getting any more rats. I think four is a really good number for me and I wouldn't want any more than that because I just think they're such a handful. Someone else said, I assume that you're one of the many people who have chosen not to have children and instead give all of your love and attention to animals. Now this is partially true, although even if I didn't like animals, I don't think that would change the fact that I don't like children. Even though I have no desire to have kids, I can't imagine having all of the number of animals or the species of animals that I want and trying to care for a kid as well. I feel like something would have to give and I'd have to give up wanting to own the animals that I do want to own, which considering I don't want kids anyway is a little bit pointless, so... Yeah, I don't want kids and I feel like the way I am I can give my love to animals a lot better than I could a kid so even though people are always going to be like, oh you'll change your mind one day, 
Mm -mm, ain't happening. I assume that you like rats. Actually, I kind of hate rats. I assume that you're really clever and want more rats and want to upgrade their cage until it's massive. Also, you would spend most of your money on your pets. Now, as I said before, I don't want any more rats. It would be really nice to upgrade their cage. I've seen a lot of people have like a triple wide cage similar to mine. Unfortunately, the houses in the UK, at least the budget that we're on, you can't really afford to have a house that's big enough to have a wall that's like long enough to have a cage just like that for rats. So the one they're in now is perfectly fine. Although it would be nice to have a massive house and be able to give them so much more space. And yes, I do spend most of my money on my pets. Don't really like spending much money on myself, but when it comes to my animals, I'm just like spending all the money. So yeah, that was all of the assumptions that you guys had about me. I hope you were able to learn a little bit more about me because of this video. I am working on a couple more videos, which I'm really excited to get out to you guys. But in the meantime, make sure you are subscribed to see any future animal related videos from us. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.